Hey guys, what is up? Deus Ex Python here with a tutorial. My first, um, what do you call it? Sony Vegas. Um, so I don't know if many of you have experienced uh, this uh, this problem here, but I'm going to make an example using my um, Onigiri uh, <clears throat> video, which will. I think I'm pro I probably already posted it at this point, but um, basically what the problem here is, I'm going to play this track really quickly. I'm just going to turn down the quality just a little bit. And I'm going to do a very quick RAM buffer. Shift B, if you don't know. So that's not a lot, but you can see we have slight jittering all around. Let me play another, like for example, this general area. You can see the flickering going down below here, under the screen, on top. You can also see the uh, flickering on some of the um, text boxes here. And if we go frame by frame, you definitely see the uh, color shift on the borders there. So, that's actually quite annoying. And um, I actually ended up rendering the entire track once as an MP4 and again as a WNV until I realized uh, the flickering was going on um, within Sony Vegas. Um, if I'm not going to pull up the, uh, yeah, you can see right there the flickering. You can see the flickering at the field there, the, the pixelation, just all jittery, jumpy, choppy, whatever you want to call it. Um, it's actually not there in the original track or the uh, raw file. I'm not going to pull it up right now, but uh, just take my word for it. So these are the steps to fixing it. Um, you're going to, you're going to want to, click the track you're working on and you can see you can see this should be the jittery track this is the jittery track you're gonna right click the uh, video track you're gonna hit properties then you're gonna go to the media tab and under field order you're gonna pull up the drop down uh, the drop down menu and you're gonna click none progressive scan usually by default it's uh, it's on upper field first but you should uh, change it to progressive scan and then press OK now when we play back the same thing frame by frame first you can see the jitter is completely eliminated we can even do a getting a little bit of lag here you can see frame by frame no jitter whatsoever if we do a RAM buffer just to prove to you there we go no jitter um, <clears throat> okay so at this point a couple of you are uh, well off you'll go on and uh, add that fix to your projects to every uh, single video you might want to um, fix change the progressive scan press OK um, but for those of you who want to know why this happens well to be honest I don't know exactly why it happens either I think it has something to do with the fact that my raw video files are actually encoded using the XVID MP4 codec and the video as it appears here it's in 1080i interlaced, which is different from progressive as as you see back here, progressive scan. And um, for those of you who don't know the difference between 1080p and 1080i, 1080p is basically pro progressive scan. You can just think of that as the 
uh, better quality of the two and 1080i's interlaced. I won't go into the whole detail about you know the bars and horizontal and vertical pixels, etc. Uh, that's all you need to know. So that's a quick fix. If any of you, uh, anyone out there, wants to drop by with some tips or um, maybe want to explain the reason why this happens, um, I'd be more than happy to hear from you. Um, but for now, I hope this video helped you as it helps as it helped me I just figured it out by accident actually I just <laughs> figured out uh, figured it had something to do with field order um, so yeah thanks hope it uh, hope it helped and uh, peace